Greetings, everybody. This is Zarina with Zarina's Guides, here to guide you on how to remove the background from your photo using PowerPoint, and then how to create something like this little picture here, a thumbnail, in your emails of your picture. So let's go ahead and jump into it. In a PowerPoint, remove the box that says, you know, click here and add text, and go ahead and just insert um, a picture. I have my picture in downloads. So I will open it. There I am. If you don't have this remove background pop up, for example, if it looks like this, just click on your picture and then format and make sure you click it. If that doesn't, if this still doesn't pop up, you might have to click format and then you'll see remove background over here to the left. Remove background. How you do this is it will select things for you that it thinks should be removed. And then you can use the remove background to or remove areas to remove and use your pen to draw over a line over areas you do not want. So I'm drawing a line over these areas. I don't want any of this in there. So I think, oops, I didn't quite get this little part out. I mean, areas to remove. I think I got that. I'm just trying to get these little bit of areas, areas to keep. I just want my arm. Okay, I think this is sufficient. So once that, I'm gonna keep changes. Oops, nope, didn't get it right. Somehow I got my whole arm out of here. So I wanna make sure I put my arm back and get all that. Okay, now that looks right keep changes and this looks sufficient to me so now I have to right click on my picture and I want to save picture as and see how I have selected PNG that way there's no background and I'm just gonna go ahead and put picture 2 it's fine picture 2 it's saved there as picture 2 and that's it it was, it's there so now I'm gonna show you what else you can do with that picture once you have it so one thing you can do is if you do have for example, an email you want to send out. See, I have have a great summer here. Let's just say right now I have my picture already ready. So downloads. Actually, where do we save that? I just save that in picture practice, I believe. Okay, so say we ha I know where it's saved. So I'm not going to insert picture to get it into this Gmail. I'm going to take that picture and just drag it in. And that way when people get the email, it will be right there. And then you can resize the photo as you like to make it smaller and your picture will show up in the email and the person receives it. But what you can also do is head into Google Slides and do some more work with your picture. You can use this, I mean, you can do more work obviously if you would like to in PowerPoint, but I'm just going to show you. I like Google Slides a little bit better, although PowerPoint has more options. But just for now, I'm going to change my background to, let's choose an image and we're going to search the web for balloons and uh, let's see I'm looking to celebrate the seniors let's say uh, kind of like that but I'll go with this one so there it is now I'm going to put myself in there image upload from computer picture to and there I am and I'm gonna probably make it a little bit smaller oopsie get it right and shrink it down a little bit okay and now I want to have text box and say congratulations graduating seniors you're off to fly Okay, and I'm running out of time, so let me hurry up and make this as fast as I can, bigger. All right, this is file download, download as PNG. It's downloaded, go back to my email again. Once again, where's my email at? Oh, well, anyways, you'd add that to your email the same way I added before. Unfortunately, I've lost my email box, so that's it for now, bye.